incremental encoder, quad-arterial converter, three-stage up and down binary counters, Allen Bradley Micrologics, and Queen Panel Junior setup by Jesus Jimenez, electromechanical engineer. Um, this here is a quick manager, it's a quick panel junior configuration software. Uh, I'm just uh, playing around with it. I am adding a uh, numeric display item to it and um, just trying to center it. Uh, this will display a numeric value, a uh, float, uh, <coughs> a, 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 a float, sorry, trying to arrange this, a, a, a float value here coming from the PLC on the Quick Panel Junior display. I am going to download this into um, the panel using a handmade, uh, homemade um, serial interface because a panel uses a special connector uh, and it's to be converted to TTL level. So I use a, I use a MAX232 uh, IC to convert RS-232 levels to uh, TTLs and the panel itself supplies power for the, uh, the interface. Right now I'm downloading uh, the uh, simple panel I'm I uh, laid it lay laid down here on the on the manager. Um, it's just a numeric value coming from the PLC. The numeric value actually represents the shaft position of an incremental encoder. This encoder uh, A V quadrature signals are fed into a quadrature converter that first uh, uses OPAMs to convert from uh, um, sinusoidal differential values to TTL levels then converts them and um, then I use a um, three-stage binary counter and then up the couplers and then they are fed into the PLC so the value is then converted to angle because the encoder can, has a resolution as of 2048 um, counts per revolution. So in the, on, the, on the PLC's ladder to uh, section I just make a, the, a, a, multi a division and a multiplication. First I divide by 247 and then I multiply by hand about 360 and thus I get a a, um, a float a uh, float value displayed on, um, on the PLC and um, this here is the uh, the uh, GPI encoder this encoder was discarded at, at my company I downloaded the data sheet uh, this encoder has uh, one bolt peak-to-peak -peak, uh, signal values. Uh, they're square type signals, but they're differential, so they need to be converted to TTL levels using um, OPAMs in the uh, competitor mode, buffering the signals, and then I feed them to a quadrature uh, converter. This is a whole data sheet I printed out from the GPI website. And this here is a ripple up down uh, binary counter. This here, um, I'm looking for um, the. Um, this, um, I'm going to show you the quadrature converter. This is um, live wire simulation of a. Uh, Quadrature uh, converter. It uses D-type flip-flops to convert uh, the train of pulses coming from the encoder into a, a quadrature converter. And then I'm using uh, ripple up-down counters, four-bit binaries, uh, so I'm able to produce 12 bit of res uh, resolutions. Each stage uh, carries or borrows from the next stage using the carry borrow um, signals so you can have 
virtually a stage after stage of and this here is the preset and this here is the uh, loading uh, ports for the binary counters so if you don't have like you have it like a, a thousand pulses per revolution if you want a preset value to be loaded you use those ports on the uh, 74LL LS uh, 193's uh, binary counters. This here is a panel this has a tool uh, port the tool is actually the programming um, interface and uh, I'm going to show you this is the quick panel data sheet and this here is what you get from um, GE Fanuc. Uh, just a brief description not very detailed so I had to experiment a lot with it. So it's proprietary. Do not, we don't endorse this. So I do it at your own risk. So they don't have a lot of detail, but I figure it out. And this here is the uh, wiring, the pinout for making your own tool interface programmer. And then uh, down below, I have a uh, DV25 to DV9 converter for the I/O communication to the. Uh, Alan Bradley Micrologic. So, um, this type of panel <coughs> can be used for, say, um, Alan Bradley, IDEC Micro, depending on what driver you load in. I'm using an Alan Bradley, the same uh, programming cable that I use for Iris Lynx and Iris Logic. I'm using also for um, communicating the uh, the panel with the PLC. So if I turn on the the encoder, I'm able to read the value on the quick panel and uh, floating point uh, value uh, changes. And once it's, uh, the zero is reached, it it, it dumps into uh, zero again. So um, the first time you turn on the encoder, it's going to read zero. So you need to uh, turn around or perhaps we, we can add a zeroing button so we can zero the encoder whenever we like. Thanks for watching.